In this video, I'm going to go over some essential skills for working on your Mac. Currently, I'm in Canvas in a class and I am using Firefox. You can see I'm using Firefox from up here. To add a new tab to Firefox, you simply hit the plus sign. To close Firefox, you can close the tabs here and here and I'm now on my desktop. Frequently you're going to want to organize your files into folders. You can right click or control click if you're using a laptop to create a new folder. You can then double click on the folder to open it. This actually opens your finder window. The finder is how you navigate around items on a Mac. It has applications, desktop, documents, movies, music, pictures, your own personal drive, data, and here I have Google Drive installed. We'll talk about that in a separate video. You'll notice that I have many shortcuts along my bar here at the bottom. This can make it easier for you can, to get into and out of programs you frequently use. One program that I like to use on the Mac is called Grab. It allows me to take screenshots. Let me show you how to add and remove items from your toolbar down here. I'm clicking and dragging it off and if I wanted to bring it back I would go into Applications and I would search for Grab. And it'll take a minute but I can then look for the icon for my program and I can drag it back here. Now you don't want to drag it on this side of the divider. This side is for file locations. This side is for programs. So if you wanted to have a specific folder with a shortcut here, you can take that and drag it over. Command Z is your undo. I did not put that where I wanted, but you can take shortcuts. Let's go into my folders. And you can put shortcuts to folders over here on this side. Apparently it does not like the shortcut to Google Drive, so don't try that. There are other useful things that you can do on a Mac. Sometimes you're going to want to take folders full of information and compress it. So this is my folder for my CIS 147 class. You can see it has a lot of things in it. Sometimes I want to compress that, so I can either right click or control click and I can choose compress. When I compress the file, it turns into a zipped file, which makes it easy to email a bunch of documents at one time. If I wish to create a new folder here inside of the documents, that's easy to do too. You can hit this toolbar that you see with the gear here and choose new folder. And then you can give it a new name. Anything I'm not going to use again, I name delete me. To then delete it, I could either hit delete on my keyboard or I can drag it to the garbage. You should occasionally empty your garbage, otherwise it will get very, very full. And to do that, you choose the toolbar and choose Empty Trash. And I obviously needed to do that. That's just some of the basics for getting around your Mac. If you have any specific questions, don't hesitate to let me no, and I can create some new videos.